So what kind of person do you really have to be to succeed in business? Hi, my name is Kath Kyle from kathkyle.com and I help business owners to earn more, work less and have more fun in the process. And I share a lot of mindset information. So if you like this kind of thing, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So let's get going with today's content. 12 essential personality traits of successful entrepreneurs. So these are the essential personality traits of successful entrepreneurs so that you can understand what it truly takes to succeed in business. So a lot of us think that a unique idea or good market conditions are all that is required to succeed in business. But the truth is that the success or failure of the business is completely driven by the personality traits of the business owner. Whether you're a solopreneur or you've got a team to help you in your business, there are several personality traits that you will have to have to be successful. And if you naturally have these traits, you're much more likely to be successful. However, if you don't have them, don't worry, you can always develop them with a little time and focus. So here are the 12 essential personality traits of successful entrepreneurs. Number one, being consistent. Most people confuse consistency with perfection and that needs to stop. As an entrepreneur, it is impossible to achieve perfect client relationships and income figures. No one at all has perfected the art of perfect entrepreneurship. The thing is that we all strive for perfection without knowing that all we really need is consistency. Being consistent refers to a trait where, despite the incredible odds, changing economic landscapes and market trends, you are striving to maintain that exactly same quality that somehow made you successful in the first place. This doesn't somehow mean that you're going to be stuck in the same rut and not making any progress at all. The point of consistency is for you to keep going and with each repetition you get better and more experienced enough to help keep your clients and your business itself. Consistency also plays a role in client retention as customers prefer the same level of quality and service given to them since the first time that you transact transacted with them. And if you're wondering how businesses as old as you are still operating to this day, it could easily be because of their owner's consistency in providing well-loved products and services. As an online business owner, the most important thing for me to do is to be consistent in publishing content. The more content I publish, the more people I reach. So that has to be the thing that I do over and over again. Number two, be a visionary. All successful businesses started with a vision. If you're dreaming of launching a product or service that helps improve the quality of other people's lives, then you've got a vision. Visionary entrepreneurs are those that don't lose sight of the vision. That's the very reason that they want to be in business in the first place. They can see the future and all possibilities while everyone else is still unaware of those. Therefore, it is essential for you to develop a visionary trait that can help you see beyond the present and inspires you to make it a reality. I've started so many businesses that I've lost count now and the ones that got the best results all started from a vision. If you don't have a vision, your business will wither away much more quickly. So it is essential to be visionary. Number three personality trait is to be passionate. And surely you didn't just start a business for the money because if you wanted a consistent income, then a job is a much less stressful way to provide a consistent income. But a born entrepreneur develops their entrepreneurial genes from early stages in their life. It's what we call passion. And if you're passionate about what you do, everything instantly makes more sense and you'll never have to force anything. A passionate entrepreneur doesn't grow tired of his routines or his goals. You wake up raring to go in the morning. Coupled with talent, they will put their heart and soul into work and watch it succeed with satisfaction. If you're not passionate about your business, you need to ask yourself, is it you or is it your current business or businesses in general that you don't have a passion for? The passion that we have for our businesses are, is trans translated directly to our customers. So if you don't have a passion, it will be felt. Number four, being resourceful. Entrepreneurs from 
this sector of the industry are resourceful enough to sell us products that not only prevent um, degradation but also live up to their purpose in modern society. Even if your niche or business doesn't involve crafting or environmentally friendly materials, you can be resourceful in your own right. For example, you need to cut back on paper in your office. Being resourceful, you would use computer applications and put things online instead of printing everything out. And being resourceful doesn't have to be big scale. You can start by finding solutions to commonly encountered problems and continue to improvise and innovate. And you might even think that you need money to start a business, but think again. You can actually get started with no money. I did myself and my first business grew to six figures within a year with no financial investment from me, apart from a very tiny amount of hosting fees, about $3 a month that I paid to get my website hosted. Number five, you have to be driven. I like to make a point regarding being driven and being passionate. While both describe strong emotions, they can be, dif be different in some ways. A driven entrepreneur is what I would call someone who is motivated by a goal to which they dedicate their hard work to. And a passionate individual, on the other hand, is someone who actually enjoys their job or talent regardless if they make a living from it. You need to be both driven and passionate if you want to succeed in business. What drives you to excel should be your motivation to keep improving and expanding your horizons. Number six, being daring. One common problem that entrepreneurs experience is the tendency to stay within their comfort zones. Being a basing from a couple of years, I've worked as an entrepreneur. Over 10 years now, I can say that today's business landscape is highly competitive, particularly in my niches. What I've learned from all that hustling is that you must be daring enough to seek uncertainty and leave fear behind. Of course, that's going to be scary, but if you do enough research, your decisions might turn out fine, even if you, um, if you can make it succeed. So just like the popular quote goes, the best things in life are on the other side of fear. And you never really know what opportunities you might be missing out on unless you seek them boldly. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there and share your message with the world with confidence. But if you do, you'll soon discover your purpose in life has been fulfilled. Being grateful. Being grateful is essential when you're trying to follow in the footsteps of successful entrepreneurs. To be grateful is to give appreciation where it's due, whether it is from your own hard work or your employees giving their best for the success of your business. It's important to feel thankful for everything, such as uh, your growing customer base, your new opportunities and your consistent profits. This is mainly to keep your positivity up and motivate you to strive harder despite some things not turning out the way you want them to. And it also helps that you keep a gratitude journal where you write down things you're thankful for every single day that have passed. And I do this every single day. I always find multiple things to be grateful for. This way you can look back and rewire your mind to think only about the good things happening in your business. And one of the most important things I did for my business was to be grateful for everything and take nothing for granted. And as soon as I stopped being grateful and started expecting and living in fear, my business absolutely plummeted. And that was a really hard lesson for me to learn. So now I force myself, whether I feel like it or not, to feel and write down my gratitude list for the day every single day number eight being generous being generous doesn't have to be just about giving money to people it can be in the form of discounts free services or time off for your team members and you need to practice generosity as a way to give back to the people who have helped you to stay in business the main way that I practice generosity is by sharing free content like this with the world. And I'm passionate about helping people and that naturally lends itself to generosity because you want to help as many people as you possibly can to succeed. Some of them will pay you and some of them won't and that's okay because you can be generous with both. Number nine, you need to be money minded. So we're in business and that means you have to make money. 
if you don't want to make money then you might as well set up a charity so you have to make your, make sure that you are money minded which means you have to be wise about investments expenses and economic trends and without this trait everything on this list will prove useless you have to be uh, knowledgeable about money because you either are growing or you are shrinking when it comes to your business revenue and as the main purpose of a business is to make money Therefore, it should be one of your highest priorities, if not the highest priority, to be money-minded. When I first started my business, I found out that I was great at making a lot of money, but I wasn't really very good at tracking it and reducing my expenses. So I just kept spending and spending, and I didn't really have any kind of plan for my spending. And it wasn't very good when my, when my business started earning less money, and I quickly learned to be better with money so that I could continue to make a profit, because if I'd have kept on spending at the same rate, then I wouldn't have made any profit. So I'm much better with money now, and I've realised what a valuable skill it is to have. Number 10, self-belief. So even if you have capital to start your business, it would be nothing if you yourself don't have the confidence that your business is going to take off. Self-belief is everything. It changes the impossible and the difficult into the possible and the doable. All you need to believe in yourself, your talents and your skills is self-belief. Because at the end of the day, all you've got is yourself to trust, motivate and eventually congratulate yourself. You have to believe that you, go, you are going to succeed and if you don't, your business absolutely will fail. Number 11, being responsible. Of course, being an entrepreneur requires you to be responsible for all your transactions and your decisions. And as the owner of your business, you need to take charge of all of the decisions and be accountable for everything that might happen. So that said, you should back yourself up with integrity and honesty to successfully fulfill your responsibilities. If you make a commitment to deliver a service or product, then it is your responsibility to de deliver it to the best of your abilities. And there's no one else to blame if things go wrong. As a business owner, the book stops with you. So make a commitment now that you are going to be 100% responsible for everything that happens in your business. All of your results are complete. you are completely and utterly responsible for. And if you take that oath now, that everything will start to change in your business and you'll stop the blaming and the excuse making and you'll just move forward with confidence. Number 12, decisiveness. To some people, a business venture can be hit or miss. That's why venturing into a business requires your decisiveness. In this industry, procrastination and fickle mindedness are your top enemies. Still, you can conquer them by grounding your sound judgment on facts and industry related resources. And this is a lesson that I've learned. When I got the facts that my first business niche was plummeting downhill and it was no longer po po uh, popular at all, I should have wrapped up the business. But I looked at my large email list, my large social media following and my consistent revenue and I didn't want to let go of it and focus on something else. So I kept plowing on with very little passion left for that particular business and all of my hard work did not pay off. I should have listened to my gut and made a decision when I first felt that I still shouldn't be active on that business. So your gut will give you a lot of information and if you follow your intuitions a lot of the time, that will give you the quick snap decision that you need to be successful in business. So here we've listed the 12 personality traits of successful entrepreneurs and it might be a long list but trust me when I say that each quality will give you an edge in the competition in the business world. So regardless of how much you know and what you currently have, we all need a piece of this good advice on how to handle business as an entrepreneur. Fortunately, you just have to remember the points that I've made so you can dive into your ventures equipped with the right attitude and perspective. So let me know what traits do you need to work on to be the best entrepreneur that you can be? And I would love it if you would answer that question in the comments and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care and I'll see you next time.